Two WA teenagers have made major world breakthroughs in the field of biotechnology. The students will now present their projects as part of an international biogenius challenge. These sheep may be unremarkable, but it's what they're eating that's important. The different types of clover found in the grass form the basis of 16-year-old Oliver's biotechnology project. The West Australian Department of Agriculture currently takes six weeks to do this process, and we've now brought it down to only two days. Um, it also is far more cost effective. And from agriculture to viticulture, 17-year-old Bindu has used cutting-edge technology in an Australian first to look at the effect of different preservatives on table grapes. We found that antioxidant capacity of the grape is actually increased when you apply sulphur dioxide to the grapes. And um, this is obviously very important for the consumer. The first participants outside America and Canada, the two WA students have been chosen to attend this year's Biogenius Challenge, a competition held in conjunction with the world's biggest biotechnology conferences. We have to train the next generation of scientists and this is an opportunity to take our very best minds and to allow them to compete on an international scene. When those breakthroughs are made, they're taken to the next level, which is the commercial level. Companies are formed, companies employ people, they grow their business and they take their business to the marketplace. After months of research with university mentors, the teenagers hope their projects will lead to more advances in the state's biotech industry. It's just by testing uh, and making up the library and then once that's completed it can be used for commercial use um, by farmers. It does open a, a few doors in terms of other alternatives and, and other research pathways that we can, we can look at. Oliver and Bindu leave for California in June. Eleanor Kane, 10 News.